Hi guys, it's dark now, but I thought I'd give you a round two since I already started it with why the aliens don't come and say hi. I think I'll go ahead and finish this off, or at least for now finish it off. And by that I mean everything that I said before plus, you know, y'all need to stop fighting over the same five favorite toys, which is extremely annoying to me. Societies around the world for generation after generation have convinced you people that there are five toys that you guys should want, and that's a generic term. By that I mean all you guys do is whine and complain and try to figure out a way to get the same five toys. And by that I mean, oh, please help me find the love of my life. Please help me find the perfect job. Please help me get money. Please help me get fill in the blanks. And there's a handful of them. I mean, if you really listen to people talk, you people are all trying to get five basic toys in a world full of immeasurable toys, endless, infinite array of toys you all fight over five. It's like dealing with a whole bunch of spoiled brat toddlers. I swear to God. I swear to Gaia. I mean, seriously. Like there's nothing else on the planet. Now, I realize that there are some people that the main thing in their life is going to be finding that one other person and building a life with them. But that is not what everyone wants, needs, or should be the top of their list. The top of everybody's list should not be raising children. Thank you, younger generation, for finally figuring that out. I did it. I did it. I followed it because I was told. But that's just dumb. You know, it's... it's. I, I love the Internet. I love the Internet. I love YouTube. And one of the reasons I love YouTube is because it used to be that there were a handful of these assholes that decided who was going to be famous, who were going to be the great artists, who were going to be the f great storytellers, who was going to be the great filmmakers, who were going to be the great singers. Now anybody can do it. And the trick is that, you know what, with the younger people I've noticed, is they're all about doing it because they love it. I, I can't even tell you how many people that Stephanie follows that are singers, because she's way into singing songs, that have refused, refused to sign labels because they want to do it themselves. They want to control their own music, and they don't care if they become American hot top whatever. They don't care. They care about doing what they love. Isn't that a unique concept? Well, I'll tell you one thing, guys. If you would cut down what you have to pay for, you would have plenty of time to find that thing that really brings you joy. Now, what that thing is, who knows? You don't give yourselves a chance to find out. You want somebody to tell you what it is. And out of infinite options that I'm not going to sit and start going over and giving you a list. It's your job to figure it out. It's your job to figure it out. But you guys are so busy fighting over the five toys that you don't have time to find out what brings you joy. You don't. And then you whine and complain because you don't know why... You're here, and you don't know why you can't be happy. You can't be happy because you don't give a flying fuck about the five toys that you're fighting for. You're really, your joy is somewhere else altogether, but you won't let go of the five toys. And ultimately, are there enough for every single one of you to have those five toys? Sure, if you believed it, but you don't. And because you don't believe it, because you're creator gods, there are not enough of the five toys to go around. Because what would happen if every singer became famous? 
Well, then it wouldn't mean quite as much, would it? Not in human eyes, it wouldn't. Because something, the more rare something is, the more difficult it is to obtain, then humans in this screwy game that they've created, then it means more. Well, in the world where I come from, everybody gets whatever they want all the time. We don't have to fight, we don't have to struggle, ever. So coming down to this place and watching everybody fight and struggle and fuss over five toys, when all they got to do is turn around and find even better toys, ones that would suit them better, nah. My favorite, my favorite, everybody, especially women, definitely want to find that guy or another woman. <laughs> You're a fucking god. You don't need somebody else. To complete you. That's society messing with your brains. It's society. Stop fighting over the same toys. Let it go. Wave bye-bye. There are so many things that you've been told that are simply not true. It's not true. The young people have proven, haven't they shown you? <laughs> Haven't they shown you? Even the ones that aren't even close to being prisms, the indigo started it, they've shown you so much. And time after time after time, you want to listen to me, you want to hear what I have to say, but you, so many people don't hear me. So why am I doing these videos? What is the point? If nobody's going to watch the kids, if you're not going to learn from what they have to show you, you just get mad at them because they don't follow the rules. Well, they didn't go to college. They went off and did their own thing. Well, I think that started with the hippies. Remember that? Remember how everybody despised them so much? Because they wanted to find themselves? Finding yourself is the best thing that you can do because you're fucking lost. That's the reason why you're so horrible to each other so horrible to the planet is because you haven't found yourselves. But somebody tries to tell you how to find yourself and you get stuck in your past. Oh, well, that's not what you want to hear. You want to you want to hear how I can tell you how to make more money. You want me to tell you how to find that love of your life. The love of your life is you. And you hate you. I haven't met one person, not one person on this planet. Okay, one person. But I don't hardly count Stephanie as a person. But nobody else that loves themselves, including myself, by the way. Still working on that one. We're all taught to despise ourselves. If you want to start somewhere, start with yourself. The day that you love yourself, the day after, you can start looking for someone else. And I'll tell you something. The day you truly start loving yourself, you'll stop looking for someone else. Guarantee you that. Guarantee you that. Because the reason why you're looking is because you're lacking. And the second you truly remember and feel the love that you have that you should have for yourself, you're not lacking anything. Ever. You're not lacking enough money. You're not lacking the right job. You know why? Because if you love yourself, number one, you only do stuff that's good for you. And you know what that is. Not what society told you. Not what your parents told you. Not what your best friend told you. Not what your boss told you. You know. Most of you don't even know. I ask you what makes you happy? You have no answer. None. Zero. Zero answer. You fall back, almost all of you fall back. Well, yeah, I like nature. Most of you haven't spent enough time in nature to even answer that question. All people are not going to love nature like I do. But what your love is, is your job to find out, not mine. You don't find it, you stay miserable, so what? You die, you go back to the other side. There's no skin off my teeth. At all. This is all a game. 
Whether or not you do it happily or unhappily it makes no difference to me. It's all an electrical vibration from your human body, which you will leave behind on Gaia. It's her that you're running, not, not you. At the end of the day, you'll leave, turn around, look at that, and go, wow, that was interesting. You don't care. Not big picture. All you care is about is experience. Experience is translated into frequency. Frequency is not... There is nothing in frequency that we say, oh, good frequency and bad frequency on the other side. It's all complex frequency. We don't care how it's created. You're the ones that complain here in the human bodies. I try to help you get out of it. Most of the time I get a lot of whining back. And you don't want to do the work. Hey, I didn't ask you to be born here. It had nothing to do with me. I'm sorry you don't like it. I know why I came here. I'm doing my business. I'm taking responsibility for why I came here. I don't like it. So what? Some people like pizza. Some people don't. Some people like snails. Some people don't. If somebody says they don't like snails, you don't beat them up. Most people do. If I say I, I prefer it, I don't prefer this game. Why does anybody give a shit what I prefer and what I don't? Some games you prefer more than others. I simply don't prefer this one. That's all. For those that prefer it, come back. I don't care. Makes no difference to me. It's not a you begin at 1 and you end at 10 and you graduate. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. So you guys need to stop trying to do that. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Stop trying to do what society has told. If you want to be happy, figure it out. And the best way you're going to figure it out is stop fighting for the same five toys. It's stupid. Another reason the aliens will not come and talk to you people is because you're all fighting for the same toys. And they look at your planet that you stand on and they see all of you little ants running around fighting for five pieces of food when there's billions upon billions of other options that nobody looks at. <laughs> oh, by the way, another thing. This planet, if you want to know, well, here, let me go ahead and share this with you. The way the planet was originally set up is for life beings on it to be horizontal around. Well, in a circle, if you believe in the round earth theory. If you believe in a flat earth, well then, straight, whichever, I don't care. Whichever you want to perceive it. But nonetheless... Humans on the planet were supposed to... You were not put on the planet with wings. You were not given claws you could dig down into the earth. Therefore, it can be assumed that you were meant to live horizontally. Now, the reason why all of a sudden people start piling up into cities... And, and by the way, if you would spread out and live horizontally... You, there would be more than enough ground to grow the food that you need. More than enough room to run around, get to know each other, have fun. Plenty of room for all. But because money is involved and power is involved, and that's part of 3D contrast, even though you're in 4D now. Jeez. Everybody wants to pile up in a city. And I love the way that city people think that the only way you can have city-type fun is if you're in a city. Which is balderdash, by the way. I've lived in cities and towns. Had the same kind of fun both places. And if you went horizontally with it, think of how many more art districts you could have. If a city was, you know, kind of, just kind of take a knife and smooth it out like butter. Instead of going up, sideways. But you know why they do that, don't they? Don't you? It's because it's cheaper. They pile you people up on top of each other and 
Get yourself real close. You don't get very close. You hate each other more and it causes more friction. Voila, 3D. But you people want out of 3D. So let me give you... Move out of the cities. I don't care if it's in the suburbs and beyond. But just start smoothing it out. Spreading that out. Stop fighting for the same five blocks, five toys, five jobs, five dollars. Look around. There's more to this planet. You think that this planet doesn't have enough. It has more than enough. You let some crazy bastards tell you that diamonds and gold and silver and platinum are what's worth the most, and you fall for it. I mean, seriously? But you want the aliens to come and talk to you. Really? <laughs> You're like a bunch of cave people. Seriously. Here's shiny, shiny, shiny things. They're worth a lot. Let me have everything you've got, and I'll give you the shiny things. There, deal? Now, from now on, these shiny rocks are going to be worth more than anything you make in your whole lifetime. Deal? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, people come in with Bitcoins, and I love how everybody loses that. It's like, oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, cryptocurrencies. Oh, no. And I went, really? Looks like a bunch of other people coming in with new shiny things going, we're going to change the rules. No longer... Are we going to fall for that your five shiny things are worth everything? We're going to change the rules. Now we're going to make these things worth. And we're going we're gonna, to like match up with people who agree with us. Wow, what a unique concept. Almost as good as barter. Come on, guys. Get a grip. You want to become enlightened? Let's deal with some practicalities. I'm not a New Age guru. I have never claimed to be one of those people. I've never claimed to want to be anybody's guru. But I am telling you that you guys... Just use your heads a little bit. Does any of this make any sense? Can you not see the baloney that has been pulled over your eyes? Your kids can. That's why they look at you like you're insane. Because your kids can see it. Yeah, welcome to the new bright, brave world. Stop falling for the bullshit. Think for yourselves. Feel for yourselves. Get a fucking grip on things. And then maybe, just maybe, in your lifetime, you might meet an alien or you might meet a fairy. Who knows? Give it a try. Love you bunches. I mean it. I do. Sorry for screaming at you, but I do still love you. See you later. Huge hugs. Bye.